Hi guys and welcome to another iOS development tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at how you can customize the rows within your UI table view to use a different font. So if you've worked with table views before you know that if you haven't done this process um, the font that's used within the rows or the cells is essentially what they call a system font. So it's a very standard looking font. It's actually pretty boring looking. Um, it works in some scenarios, but in may most others, you're going to want to customize that uh, to match the rest of your application. Now, it turns out that there's actually quite a few other fonts that we can use right out of the box. Um, you just need to know how to implement it. So let's cover just that within this tutorial. Now, what this tutorial won't be is an introduction to how to create a table view. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, just take a look at one of my other videos. So let's get started here. I will show you, um, I've already got a project open that I created earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and stop running this application. And let me just show you the basic stuff that I've got in place. So I've got within my nib file a standard UI table view um, object that I've dragged onto the view. If I go over to my header file, you notice that I've, I've explicitly dis, um, declared that I will conform to the UI table view data source and delegate protocols. I've also created an NS array, and uh, within this NS array, of course, um, is where I store the different text values or the NS strings that you know become part of my menu. So I've got item one, item two, item three, and then of course I've implemented the standard table view methods that everybody has to implement if um, you want uh, to act as the data source. Uh, if you want a particular class to ask as the data source. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, we've got um, a couple different steps that we've set up and we've already got our table view working correctly. So here's where uh, the real quick tip portion starts. Let's jump back to our view controller's nib file. And what I'm going to do here is drag a UI label on to my table view. We're not actually going to use this, but our point here is to illustrate how you can find out what the other fonts that are available are. So with this selected, jump over here to your attributes inspector. And if you don't see it, it's possibly because you're on one of the other inspectors and you want to switch over to the attributes inspector. If you don't have this right hand side column at all, it's probably because your utilities panel is uh, or view is hidden. So if you can't see it, it's probably because you need to press this little button and that should slide it into view. Anyway, with that selected, we want to jump over to where it talks about the font and click on this little T symbol. That opens up another dialog window, um, and you'll see that it's the font is currently set to system. So let's switch that to custom, and now you'll see that I have the ability to select a font family. Now if I click on this, you'll see that there's quite a few fonts, uh, really a lot that we can use uh, within our application. And the reason we are wanting to look at this view is because we will now know what other fonts are available to us right out of the box and we want to know exactly how those fonts are labeled. So for example, if you are trying to use Snell Roundhand, then what you'll want to remember is of course that the, um, the letter S is uppercase in the word Snell, as is R, there's a space, and you need to make a note of how this font is labeled. Uh, for this particular example, what we're going to do is use the font Futura, which is uh, right here. So uh, F is uppercase, just make a note of that. And I'm going to click out of that and hit the done button and get rid of that. Now I can actually delete this label because we don't really need it. With that done, let me jump back to my view controller's implementation file and we will add a step. Let's call it 3.5. We'll say change the font. And the way we do this is we come down here and say cell.textlabel and then we access the font property there and we will set that to something called UI font. Not US font, but UI font and font with name. And you'll notice that this particular method takes two parameters. One is an NS string and the other is a float value for the size. So the NS string, of course, is going to be the name of the font that we want to use. So in our case, like I said, we're going to try and use Futura and we'll switch over to the size. This can be a float value. So we'll just say 18.0. We'll do uh, put a semicolon command S to save. And now let's run our application. And if you remember, like I said, when we first started, we were using the system font. But now when you look at it, you'll see that we are using a completely different font. And there's quite a few options there. There's one um, that looks a little bit like handwriting. So depending on your user interface, you may want to customize this some. 
But I hope this was helpful and you now know how you can change the font within your rows in a table view or really within the cells. Thanks for watching.